Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. Happy Friday, the 1st of March. It is March. How are we in March? It was a leap year this year, so we had 29 days in February, and yet it still feels like it is flying by. I don't know if this is just because I'm getting older, and everyone says you do feel like life passes you by the older you get, but the months are just flying along. And although I don't want to wish my life away, I have to say January and February, I am so done with you. I am ready for spring. I feel like everyone who I've seen on social media or watched on YouTube or Instagram is saying the same thing. It's not even been that cold. It's just been dreary and wet and oh, I'm just so, so done with it. But anyway, there's me being very British starting this vlog complaining about the weather. This vlog is hopefully going to make us all feel a little bit more ready for spring because I'm gonna be getting in the garden in this vlog. Now whether you're into gardening or not I still think you will enjoy this sort of content. If you just like to watch my vlogs to relax and chill honestly like gardening content I ne I was never I've never been a gardener in my life but I've watched loads of Josie London's videos or she's Josie Irons loads of different names anyway Josie here on YouTube and she is the main reason that I got into gardening and I have to encourage every single one of you, if you've got a garden, whether you live at home and you're with your parents or you're sharing a place or whatever it is, if you have got any kind of space to grow stuff, I can't even tell you how rewarding it is to do. Rewarding is just the beginning as well. I feel like it teaches us so many healthy habits and lessons as well and patience and the beauty of nature and especially if you're someone like me that's got a very demanding sort of routine life. I absolutely love just taking time out, putting on my gardening gloves and just going in the garden listening to some music. Uh, and it's it's just my new favorite hobby. And speaking of healthy habits, I'm very excited to say that this part of the vlog is very kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. This delivery came through yesterday and oh my goodness, let me show you. I have got three amazing meals. A Beijing style chicken and pak choy stir fry. I've got a Thai green curry, the ultimate one. And then this, which I am very excited to make with you all, the ultimate fish finger sarni. Now that we're in March, it really is the peak time for people to be dropping off those healthy habits. HelloFresh really is been keeping me and Andy on track in this household. I'm the person who does the food shop. And you know what? Every single week we have so much food waste. So I'm wasting money and I'm wasting actual groceries, which is just not good enough. But keeping up with those healthy habits with fresher, healthier meals and also not wasting food or money and keeping an eye on those budget and looking after those pounds and pennies has been much easier with the HelloFresh subscription. Meals start at just £3.15 per portion and it's delivered right to your door. The service is also completely flexible. You can cancel, change your meals, change your address and delivery date etc through your portal and not to mention apart from these three lovely meals I've shown you there is a huge menu that you can choose from every single week. HelloFresh have very kindly given me a exclusive discount code so here it is on the screen here if you scan this QR code if you are watching on the TV it will take you directly through you can get 60% off your first box and then you get 20% off your next two months of boxes as well as free gifts. If you haven't used HelloFresh before, I can't even tell you what a no-brainer it is to use my discount code. With 60% off, I said earlier, meals from £3.15. I'm gonna put a graphic on the screen here of what a cart checkout would look like using my code for two people and five meals. So that's 10 meals, £17.20, and that is delivered plus free gifts. That's 58p per portion. I'm gonna pop that QR code back on the screen now, but I can't even tell you how this is a no-brainer. Honestly, give it a go if you haven't already. A massive thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this part of the video, even though I am a paying customer and I promote them anyway to my friends and family and all of you guys. Just take advantage while I've got an active code because you won't regret it. I cannot wait to have this for dinner tonight, so perfect end to the start of a vlog. <laughs> As I said, it is the 1st of March today, so I am starting the vlog this evening, but today I have been into Primark. I've got a big bag of stuff. I obviously did my Primark come shop with me that is coming Sunday. So you see in this video on the 1st of March, and on 
Sunday the 3rd, so this Sunday, the Primark video will be going live. So if you haven't already subscribed, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I would love if you guys could hang around. I know all of you guys have been so supportive. I replied to all the comments down below and honestly, the response in February, like I can see through my analytics, you guys are just amazing. I was actually really apprehensive going into Primark this month because I was like, mm, is it gonna be really similar to last month? But no, there was quite a lot. In fact, there was so much new stuff, I've had to do two videos again. The Primark home, I was a little bit worried that it was all gonna be same, same. But no, there was actually loads of new stuff, whole new merched um, areas as well. Uh, and yeah, I was just really impressed. I did get a nice big bag full of stuff, so. Uh, I need to film that haul eventually too. March is looking so busy, but thankfully I had a little bit of time to get on with my gardening, which I'm gonna jump back to those clips now, and I hope you all enjoy. The sun is shining and I cannot wait to get out and sort out a little bit of this garden. Here's a little overview of how it's looking. Just if I've got my shoes on, but I've got, I mean, it's just been dilapidated. I want to cut back some stuff. I need to dig up the rest of my leeks. I need to transplant this rosemary because as you can see, it's broken. I need to also give my lamb's lettuce some more space because as you can see, they are itching to grow. I've just transplanted this one, but all of these need transplanting and I don't want to put them in the ground yet because of slugs. So um, I have got some different pots and things over here which I'm going to be using so yeah just generally I've been so excited to get in this garden give this a good tidy a little bit of a uh, nutrients as well I want to put on here for the growing season that's coming and then if I have got time which I will have time eventually but I'm going to make some leek and potato soup with these leeks that are here so all very exciting stuff so I'm going to put my shoes on grab my phone to listen to some music and do some gardening. I just got out all of my gardening stuff because I kind of have been dumping it in the garage since, well, since the end of last year really. So I have had it all in here and now I'm going through and sorting out what I've got. And I'm honestly so content right now. The sun is shining and Yes, I got these two grow bags as well, some compost the other day from Home Bargains. I forgot to mention them in my Home Bargains haul, but such a good, honestly, Home Bargains like is the best place to get compost. The bottom one, which is a massive bag, I think it's 50 litres, it was like £5, and then this one on top was like £3 something. Amazing, I've got some left over from last year as well, and I've just got my fertilisers here, all of my new modules as well that were from Wilco. I got them all in the like closing down sales and I've also got my sieve here ready to do some transplanting, some little spare little pots here. I got these in the range just the other day and then I've got all of my seeds which I need to go through and these aren't even all of them. I've got more inside and my onion sets and garlic sets and stuff so yes I am so excited to get into it. Oh look I've got the little man there in the tiny little strip of sun. I'm not doing any of the garden today, like obviously this all needs jet washing and resetting, but we're not there yet, we're literally in February, so I'm getting a bit ahead of myself even just because the sun's out. I've got my drill out because I need to drill some drainage holes. Never buy these and don't do the drainage holes because it'll just get mulchy at the bottom and it, it's not good for plant roots and stuff. So I've got that, I've got this old planter, so it's the same as the one here with my olive tree. I did debate getting another olive tree, but I think I'm just gonna put my rosemary in here. I think they could look quite cute together, like having olive and rosemary. Uh, I've then got a couple of pots here as well. I think I might be taking out my rose because my I just sort of chucked it here last thing. And I think I'm gonna plant some peas and I want my peas to grow up this structure. So I'm gonna take her out of the ground and put it into one of those pots, I think. Um, I'm still kind of figuring out my pots, but because it's quite an established plant, I should be fine. It shouldn't get transplant shock or anything. Lamb's lettuce in there, and then I do need to dig up my leeks as well today. And then I should be able to, oh, and transplant the rose. I got loads to do. I'm just gonna get on with it. Up 
I have transplanted my rosemary and my rose and this is kind of what I was trying to avoid having loads and loads of pots but honestly it isn't really a choice when I'm kind of planning the garden I've got a lot to sow I want to try and sow some microgreens as well but they'll all be in um, trays but I think this looks quite nice the two of them together because they're like the woody plants I just think they look really nice and especially next to the barbecue it's almost like a kitchen garden style little arrangement there the rose is also gonna be really good because as you can see we've got loads of new growth on this I just deadheaded it a few days ago so yeah it's now going to be able to be moved into the sun and then this is my Japanese maple and I do just need to put a little bit more liquid feed on this and hopefully in fact not hopefully you can see possibly just there we've got a little bit of red which means that it's starting to realize it's spring and it'll start growing again so time to transplant my lamb's lettuce now What's in the life you never could offer? Even if you never flown before, you can take a chance and try once more. Don't let your worries weigh you down, down, down. You can still. Take flight Although you're earthbound <sighs> That is a job well done. I have come in and had a shower and all the leaks are up. They're actually down there i've washed them and trimmed them they're all ready to go i'll probably make that soup tomorrow now because we're going to be heading out with some friends in a minute to have a couple of drinks my lamb's lettuce is transplanted i've got to get another one of these containers for those and the soil has got all of the blood fish and bone on it so it can start getting a bit of nutrients and all my pots are over there a day's job well done Good morning everybody, it is now the next day. Actually, let me pause the vacuum in a minute. Good morning, so yes, as you've seen yesterday, I had a nice little gardening day, and as a result, I didn't show you all, but I did prepare the leeks, so they are all done. I am now, as it is Sunday morning, it's feeling quite like spring today. It's just gone a bit overcast again, but we are forecasting sun. And tomorrow I know it's just full sun as well, um, between lots of rain. But I am going to go and make some fresh leek and potato soup while my leeks are super fresh. I'm then gonna drop some of these round to my mum. So I think I'm planning on using about a half or a third of these to make this soup. And we're actually going out to see Andy's nan today. So my plan of action is to do this in the slow cooker. I also have some leftover Maris Pipers. So I'm hoping these are gonna work. Because it is Sunday as well, I'm gonna make a roast tonight. I've got some Shantae carrots in the fridge. Um, I've got some broccoli, I'll make cauliflower cheese. I'm gonna do fresh Yorkshire puddings. I just need to stop and get some more potatoes because these are the only potatoes I have. So yes, it's just gonna be a real wholesome Sunday. I have got to do some editing today and some work to get ahead because I've got my video going live today, but it's the last one I've got uploaded and I need to schedule the next two for the next week um, and try and get ahead on planning for the next weeks as well. I'm so happy the garden's done. Like now the leeks are up and all of that soil is just laying there prepared. It means that now over the next eight weeks or you know three months or so, it's just gonna be able to just regenerate and I'm gonna obviously put nice like that fertilizer down the blood, fish and bones and stuff and it will just, that takes four to six weeks four to eight weeks, sorry, to, to kind of break down and really give the soil nutrition. Not to mention, and now that we've got this coffee machine, the grounds that come out of it as well, I don't put them in the food bin, I chuck them straight out onto the, to the soil and just rake them in because they take about eight weeks to decompose down as well. So by the time I've done all my sowing in the great greenhouse and those seeds have become little, um, little plants that are ready to go in the ground, then the soil will be nice and nutritious for them. I'm going to set you up on a time lapse and we're going to chop up the leeks, chop up the potatoes, and make the, I was about to say ham and leek, <laughs> chicken, not chicken, we're gonna make the leek and potato soup. Just like 
Leek and potato soup done, and there is something extremely satisfying about having this meal sat right meters away from where these leeks were grown. So, yes, I'm going to enjoy this now. That leek and potato soup was absolutely delicious, and if you're eagle-eyed from my last vlog, you would have seen that I also brought some over to my nan, uh, and she absolutely loved it, my nan and granddad. It is hugely rewarding growing your own produce and I can't wait to get my greenhouse out and doing all of my sewing and stuff. Now that we're in March, we can do that. February was too early, but with it still being so rainy today on the 1st of March, I'm hoping that the forecast is gonna get a little bit better. So um, another thing that makes me really happy is all the daffodils are out. I don't know if you guys notice it when you're driving around or whatever, but I've always got some daffodils. They're so cheap. They really do just light up an area, don't they? Absolutely love it. I've got so much content coming for you guys this month and I've got so much going on myself as well. Going up to Manchester next week, with my friend Charlie which is being vlogged and also then I am going away with Andy we're going glamping and between that I've got Cheltenham the Cheltenham races which I mentioned with you all mentioned to you all in my vintage haul if you haven't seen my vintage haul I think you'll probably like it if you like uh, sort of like thrifting and if you like my charity shop videos which I need to go back to the charity shops that's on my to-do list realistically that's probably going to be April now because I've just got so much content that I've got in the bag for you. I don't know if any of you have noticed but I have been posting three times a week and I'm hoping now this is going to be an indefinite thing. Uh, so yeah I'm just testing the water to see if I can make my dreams come true but that does all rely on you so I truly 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 from the bottom of my heart thank each and every one of you. If you've watched this whole vlog this far then that is just amazing and I really do appreciate you all and I'm not going to bore you anymore with me sitting here going thank you, thank you, thank you because I could do that all day. Always let me know down in the comments what your favourite content is from me and what more you want to see because I do, I read every comment, I listen to everyone uh, and any feedback that you have because it's how I grow, it's how we all evolve. So yeah on that lovely note i think i'm gonna leave you all there thank you so much for spending this vlog with me don't forget about that hello fresh code i'll put the qr code in the screen here again no brainer 58p 58p for a meal if you're buying for two people over five meals absolutely incredible plus free gifts like last time one of the free gifts i got was like a tony's chocolate bar oh it was so lovely and they retail for like five quid i think they're quite expensive so yeah, enjoy that. Don't forget 60% off the first box and then 20% off your next two months. So take full advantage. I will see you all in my next video, which as I said, is that Primark Come Shop With Me coming on Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you then. Ciao.